Samsung. So Samsung is a South Korean multinational conglomerate with its headquarters in Samsung Town in Seoul. Um, it comprises of numerous affiliated businesses, most of them uh, united under the Samsung brand. And to this date, it is the largest South Korean business conglomerate. Now, Samsung was founded in 1938 as a trading company, and over the next 30 years, the group diversified into food processing, textiles, insurance, securities, and eventually retail. Um, it entered the electronics business in the late 1960s, with its first consumer electronic product being a black and white television. In 1987, Samsung was separated into four business groups, uh, the Samsung Group, the Shinsegae Group, CJ Group, and Hansol Group. And since 1990, Samsung has increasingly globalized its activities in electronics, and in particular, mobile phones and semiconductors has become its most important source of income. They have changed from what was once considered a budget TV brand to one of the market leaders, and they have now one of the biggest marketing budgets in the world, totaling $10 billion in 2015. And uh, they were renowned for innovation, design, quality, and value for money. Now, the main uh, models of focus within Samsung, first of all, we've got the 49NU7400. Um, uh, that currently retails at £549, and this will be your cheapest 49-inch Samsung TV in store. Um, you get 4K HDR. This has also got one of the new HDR10 Plus decoders built in. Uh, it has local dimming, which is actually quite unusual at that price point. So local dimming for better black levels, contrast and colour. Uh, you've got a full Samsung Smart Hub and TV Plus, um, which is one of the apps to make it easy to find 4K of HDR material. It's also got the Ultra HD certification, um, proving that true UHD standards have been met. Now, being the cheapest 49 inch in store, I've no doubt this is going to be a really popular choice for, for a lot of your customers. So from there, we come to the Q9 series. So this is the very top of the range. So this is currently available in 55, 65, and 75 inch versions. Um, and this is flagship model. So it ranges uh, certainly from the 55 inch from two and a half thousand pound up to 6,000 pound for the, the huge 75 inch version. So with, with, with the top end uh, technology, we've got over 2000 nits uh, brightness. So, it'll, so not only is this gonna be perfect for customers in a, who have their TV in a really bright environment, maybe bay windows uh, shining in a lot of light on the front of the TV, but it's also gonna offer a huge amount of detail with HDR content. It's also ultra HD premium certified and that rates it along, the along with the top TVs in the world in terms of shadow detail, color space and brightness obviously there. This is Samsung's only backlit panel, um, so that's offering more lighting control than any of their other televisions. It comes with a one connect box for simple minimalized cable installation to walls. And with that, you just have one of their, what they call their near invisible cable coming down the wall and that carries all their video signals as well as their, uh, as well as their power this year. And that's a, a new feature for Samsung. It's got a voice assistant, um, which allows you to access photographs, the weather, um, other Samsung smart devices. And although it's not the fastest panel on the market, it does feature relatively low input lag figures. Again, very suitable for gamers. Um, this one also has twin satellite and twin Freeview tuners, so that will allow you to, to record one thing on Freeview or FreeSat whilst watching another. Um, most TVs don't have that option. Similar to LG, um, uh, coming from the, their roots as a budget brand, um, uh, your, a lot of your older customers will, will still know that. So I think Samsung absolutely appeals to your younger customers. Um, but having said that, you know, because of certainly a, the amount of coverage they've had in the press in recent years, um, you know, everyone out there potentially is, is a Samsung customer. But I personally find that the younger market, as opposed to the older market, it, it tends to appear a little bit more too.